So we're starting off with three divs here. Um, they all have a class of box and we have some base styles set for them right here. And then inside our markup, we have a bunch of buttons and when they're clicked on, they're going to um, initiate some animations um, within our boxes. One thing that I wanna mention before I get into the JavaScript is you'll see that I have this dollar sign um, parentheses function right here. And what this is is a shorthand um, for the document ready function. So you'll definitely run into the, this a lot when you're doing your projects. And just know that um, it does the exact same thing as document ready, um, but it's a little bit shorter to type. The next thing that I want to mention is instead of using dot click this time, I'm using dot on. And in the first argument, I'm passing it click, which is the event that we're listening for. And then the second argument, um, we're putting in the function that we want to run um, when somebody clicks on that button. So whether you use dot on and then pass click here or use dot click, um, they're going to do the same thing. Um, but actually dot click is a shorthand method um, for calling this on function. So if you use dot on, um, it's a bit more direct route of doing that. Um, but performance wise, they're probably going to be exactly the same. So inside our click handler here, the first thing we're doing is we're selecting the first box with um, dot box and I'm using dot first here. And after that, we're putting dot animate. And we're passing this animate method here, um, three different uh, parameters. The first one is a object and it has a bunch of properties set on it. And the second one is the speed that we want the animation to happen over. And the third one is a callback function that we wanna run um, once this animation is finished. So basically all of these properties you see um, inside this object here is what we want to animate um, the object towards or what we want to animate the element towards. So it already has its, its base styles that it's starting off from um, set at the top here. And then we're going to animate towards these different um, properties right here. So we're going to animate the width to 50%. Um, we're going to change the opacity from 1 to 0.3 and then we're going to animate the margin to 20 pixels, and then we're going to increase the font size up to 3 EM, and then increasing the border width as well. And so let's just um, refresh on the right side, and we'll click uh, box 1 here, and you'll see that all of those animations took place, um, as well as the callback function when it finished, and you'll see that we um, faded out the element there. So basically when you're passing an object into animate, um, you definitely want to know what is the CSS properties that you have to begin with and that way you'll know which CSS properties that you want to animate towards. So let's move on to our next animation now and what we're doing is we're selecting this button 2F which is the box 2 forward and then down here we have button 2B um, that is box 2 backwards and what we're doing is when somebody clicks on uh, the box 2 forward button we are going to select the second box with dot box and then dot eq1 here and then we're using dot animate to add the animation to it and what we're going to do is animate the margin left to plus equals 50 pixels and what that's going to do is it's going to get the current margin left value and it's going to add 50 to it so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to click on that box to forward button um, five times really quickly um, just to show you uh, what effect that gets so I'm just going to click on this five times now. And you'll see that um, those animations to the right happened one after the other, and they were queued. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to click the box to backward five times really quick, and then click box to forward five times really quick. So let's see what happens there. And you'll see again, um, all of those animations for that div got queued and they happen one after the other. Um, in the next example here, um, with button 3F, um, basically we're doing a similar thing with the box 3 fatter button and box 3 skinnier. And instead of uh, changing the margin left, we are going to change the padding left to increase the padding by 50 pixels with one button and then reduce it um, with 50 pixels with the other button. So let's just do the same thing. I'll click um, the fatter one five times and then the skinnier one five times and we'll see what happens. And you'll see it's the same sort of thing. Um, all of the animations get queued um, until all of them are finished. One thing that I want to mention about the animations is that even though box 2's animations um, have to happen in a queue and box 3's have to happen in a queue as well, um, 
These two divs can be animating at the same time. So even though each one individually has to happen in a queue, um, the two divs, uh, different animations, um, can be going on at the same time. So I'm just going to um, start clicking all of the buttons here, and we're going to try and get these animating at the same time. And you'll see that um, they can both be going on uh, concurrently there.